Let's talk about jobs. Should we talk about jobs? We had a vote on jobs today in this chamber. We voted on half of a bonding bill. Governor Mark Dayton put out a bonding bill with 23,000 jobs in it. This House said, oh no, we don't want thousands of, those thousands of jobs. We want half that many jobs. We're going to put up a bonding bill with half as much investment in the state of Minnesota. Let's talk about teaching jobs, shall we? A bunch of teachers across the state of Minnesota are facing layoffs. We have a budget surplus. We could do something about that. We could prevent those teachers from getting laid off. But when Governor Dayton proposes supplemental education funding, what's the response from Republicans? Well, Republican leader Paul Gazelka today said, let's take the pensions of 600,000 Minnesotans and play games with that. Hardworking people who put money away for retirement. Oh, Governor, not only do I not want to do your education funding proposal, I'm going to play politics with the retirement savings of 600,000 Minnesotans. So, Representative Dowd, I will give you that there are jobs associated with building a pipeline. There are about 4,000 construction jobs associated with building that pipeline. Today, the House passed a bonding bill. It said no to 10,000 jobs. And you want to pretend that because you're for 4,000 jobs, which are going to happen anyway, when the PUC decides where and when this pipeline will be built, you want to pretend that because you're for those 4,000 jobs, somehow you're Mr. Jobs. You really care about working people in Minnesota. Well, you know who knows working people in Minnesota? Minnesota's labor unions, the ones who fight for working families every single day, day in and day out. And they've judged your performance for working families in Minnesota. They've given you 0%, 6%, 5%. One year you got as high as 17%. The working families of Minnesota have not given Minnesota's Republicans or their leader a passing grade. And that's because they can see through this crap. Enbridge is not asking for this bill. Labor unions are not asking for this bill. Communities are not asking for this bill. This bill is a big show, a big pretend show, on the very day this body said no to 10,000 jobs for working people in Minnesota. It wants to say yes to 4,000 that we all agree, many of us agree, are coming to the state and try to cover up for the fact that you just said no to 10,000. You know, Minnesotans aren't that stupid. When you went and put a voter ID amendment on the ballot, Minnesotans said, you know what, we're not that dumb. We're not going to pass that. It will, it will deny people the right to vote. And here you are, back again, insulting people's intelligence, trying to make it sound like you actually care about working families when they know you don't.